7,000 new IRS agents. A massive influx. And by the way, these agents are not there to go after the billionaires or the giant corporations. They're there to go after you. They're there to go after small businesses. They're there to descend upon middle class workers and audit the hell out of you. And, and the Democrats believe if we have this army of IRS agents like a swarm of locusts from Washington, it will suddenly generate a lot of money. And they're probably right. But I got to tell you, I've traveled all over Texas, all over the country. I've never heard one human being say, of all the things we need in America, we need more more IRS agents. That's what the Democrats are promising. 87,000 new ones. The second big problem, manufacturing, their so-called corporate minimum tax. 50% of the burden of that falls on manufacturing. What they're doing is punishing companies for investing capital in new manufacturing lines, in new truck lines, in new car lines. It is devastating to workers. The third group that is heard is energy. There are new energy taxes and fees in this. If you're pissed off at paying more to fill up your gas tank, guess what? Schumer Mansion makes it worse and ra raises the cost of energy. And fourth, and it's what Larry Kudlow just said, buried in the middle of this bill are three little provisions that are designed to repeal the Supreme Court's decision in West Virginia versus EPA. West Virginia versus EPA, they said, look, the EPA doesn't have the authority to disregard the Clean, Clean Air Act and suddenly regulate carbon and drive up the cost of energy for every American in this country. That decision was a terrific victory for democracy. What Schumer has convinced Joe Manchin to do is put the word carbon into the, cl the Clean Air Act. The result of that will be to bankrupt West Virginia coal miners. I've never seen a West Virginia senator literally undo the state of West Virginia's victory at the Supreme Court and bankrupt one of the most important industries in his entire state, and yet that's what we're facing right now. Why would Democrats heading into a midterm election year think raising taxes, doubling the number of IRS agents is somehow a good, they, they, they consider this, if it happens, a win for Joe Biden and a win for Democrats. Since when is raising taxes and hiring IRS agents a win for any politician? These Democrats are hardcore ideological socialists. They've never met spending they don't like. They've never met debt they don't like. They've never met taxes they don't like. Their answer, you know, it reminds me, you remember that old Saturday Night Live skit where Christopher Walken is there, there's a band playing, and his solution to everything is more cowbell, more cowbell. That's what the Democrats are. They want more taxes, more spending. That's all they know. And, and what's amazing, listen, Joe Manchin's a good guy. I like Joe. But the degree to which he's been snookered, I, I can't think of, look, as a senator from Texas, if I signed on to legislation bankrupting the oil and gas industry, that'd be really damn dumb.